If you watched the best games of 2020 video I uploaded a couple days ago, you would know that I'm coming back to YouTube because quitting never really did anything for my mental health and probably made things worse, to be honest. Anyways, I wanted to outline some of my plans and ideas for 2021 so people know what to expect from me for the rest of this year. As usual, this shit could change drastically as the year goes on, as new games release, as I get overwhelmed with college work, and as I face new financial hardships. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the state that my setup is in right now. Right now, I can't do any console recording because the capture card in my PC is broken right now. I could buy a new one, but I'd really want to wait to do that until I build my new PC. The thing with that is that I don't want to start building it until I can get my hands on a new processor at the very least, and it's been nearly impossible to get one of those. Now, I might buy a new capture card before a new PC if I can get my hands on a PS5, but I don't have one of those yet either. PS5s seem a lot easier to pick up than computer hardware is, but that's not really the issue. It's that right now, there's not many upcoming PS5 exclusives that interest me. There's Gran Turismo 7 and Horizon Forbidden West, but neither of them have solid release dates yet. I could buy a PS5 and play the games that have already released that seem really cool, like Demon's Souls and Spider-Man Miles Morales, but that leads me into another thing, which is that, for the time being, I'm just gonna stick to playing and reviewing games for my backlog. New games releasing in 2021 are an exception because I am interested in them, and I think people want to see them, but other than that, I am actively trying to avoid adding anything else to my backlog. I literally measured out how long it would take me to finish my backlog, and it comes out close to 3,000 hours. That's ridiculous. It's time to stop, so I'm going to try to stop, and hopefully for the next two to three years I won't buy any other old games. Also, I got a PS3. I've wanted a PS3 for years, and I finally got one. Apparently all I need is an HDMI splitter to bypass the PS3's stupid content protection, so I think whenever I reach the PS3 games section of my backlog, you'll see some PS3 reviews on this channel. So, that's the state of my setup right now. I have a PS3, I want to get a PS5 when the exclusives I like start releasing for it. I need a new capture card, but I want to wait to build my new PC to buy the new capture card. Alright, now I can talk about videos. First of all, I'm going to go back to the old ways, the ways where I used a script to talk about video games instead of trying to do it off the top of my head to make it sound more quote-unquote natural. The truth is, it's really fucking hard to do reviews that way. I either want to say a million things about any one game and they're all running around my head at once and I can't pick one, or I have absolutely nothing to say about a game and I have to make myself think of something interesting to say. That's why I can't do this off the cuff. I won't be using the face cam anymore either, unless I have a skit I want to do, because for one, it's really uncomfortable to have a face cam on because I'm busy reading the script and I don't want to take my eyes away from the screen for like one second to acknowledge that the camera exists. And second, I'd rather drive my reviews with gameplay and not my face. The reviews themselves are also going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to use my scoring system anymore because I kind of find that it doesn't always represent how I actually feel about a game, and it feels a little bad having my entire review boil down to a number on a screen anyways. I'm also going to start doing reviews of games that I don't finish for one reason or another, which is something I didn't feel okay with for a long time. The thing is though, sometimes I just lose interest in something I'm playing and I'd be okay with making a video that details why I lost interest in something, and why it might not be a game that's worth playing. Uh, fuck, what else? Um, I'm not gonna do my other two channels anymore because I'm stretching myself too thin if I actually try to commit to them, and I'm also not doing Twitch streaming anymore because it's too difficult to pull off on a regular basis because I live with other people. That being said, I might do some streaming on YouTube on this channel for special events like E3 and TGA, and some of the smaller directs that pop up every now and then, so people can get my reactions and thoughts from them. That's about it. I'm already working on some new videos. They should hopefully be up pretty soon. Hopefully I can make some content you'll like this year. Stay happy and healthy. Bye bye